And tonight, to look at what is set to be the largest event in Jacksonville Beach since the COVID-19 pandemic is happening this weekend. More than 10,000 people are expected to attend the ninth annual Seawalk Music Festival. On your side's Haley Harrison spoke with some local vendors who were setting up today, and they're hopeful, Haley, that this event will help them bounce back. Well, Anthony, this festival usually happens in February, so one thing's for sure, it's going to be a lot hotter for all these local artists and food truck owners, but about 50 vendors will be here this weekend, and they're more ready than ever to be a part of this music festival. The Pie Daddy food truck is no stranger to the Seawalk, as it's been a vendor at the music festival for six years. But this time, owner and Jacksonville local, Andrea Davis, is extra anxious to set up shop after a tough year. We are super excited. It's been a long time waiting. I mean, this is our first time back at Jack's Beach since last year. She and her husband, Ed, had to shut down their business for nine months. But when music festivals recently made a comeback, they were ready to get the truck back up and running. So they traveled to places as far as Texas. We did, we did Ubi Dubi Music Festival in Dallas, and that was really good. It was a two-day uh, EDM festival. Lush Leaves, a new local business that blossomed during the pandemic, is looking forward to its first appearance at the Seawalk. We opened a space in San Marco. We held that for six months, um, but really missed being out and about in the community. So we closed that in April and decided to go totally mobile and be out where we could actually see customers in all areas. The two day music festival is free and open to the public, but there are VIP passes available for purchase. However, organizers posted Friday that those tickets are almost sold out. Now the headliner Sunday night will be the Red Jumpsuit Apparatus, a rock band made up of Middleburg locals. Now, if you're going to check out the festival this weekend, like I know I will, all the details you'll ever need are on our website, firstcoastnews.com. Live in Jacksonville Beach, I'm Haley Harrison, First Coast News, on your side. A big crowd there this weekend, Haley.